Hello everyone and welcome to ECCV 2020. We present Lifespan Age Transformation Synthesis. I am Roy and this is a joint collaboration with Sumyadip, Ohad, Eli and Ira. So what is Lifespan Age Transformation? Given a single portrait image, we can produce a continuous age transformation from 0 to 70 years old. This method has many potential applications. It can be used to help finding missing children or for sentimental reasons, like rendering aged photos of lost relatives. Another important application of lifespan aging is creating aging CGI effects in movies and ads or as a cool image editing feature that can be used to make a person look younger or older. Okay, so why is this a challenging problem? First, there is a lack of data. To learn lifespan aging, ideally, we need images of a person captured from birth till death. This is extremely difficult to obtain at a large scale. Another issue is head deformation. As a kid grows up, there is a significant change in the head shape. Due to that, most state-of-the-art methods focus only on aging adults. However, in this work, we also focus on aging children, which is significantly difficult. Finally, we need to design one deep network that takes an input image at any age and outputs aging effects at any target age. Let's address the data issue. As we mentioned, capturing a large-scale dataset of people over a full lifespan is not a viable option. This restricts us from learning these transformations in a fully supervised manner. Instead, we turn to adversarial learning and learn these transformations using only a single masked image and its labeled age for each person. To that end, we consider the FFHQ face dataset, which contains high resolution faces. We annotated FFHQ for gender, age group, semantic map, and other attributes and have released the dataset, which is useful for aging and many other computer vision tasks. We achieve continuous lifespan age transformation by approximating continuous aging with six different age classes. We then formulate aging as a multi-domain image-to-image transformation. Our generator disentangles between age and identity. We encode identity features from the input image. Then, given a target age class, we use a mapping network to produce a latent age code for that target class. Finally, our decoder fuses the latent age code with the identity features using a StyleGAN2 modulated convolutions. We can then achieve continuous aging by interpolating between latent age codes of two adjacent target age classes. Our network is trained with the following procedure. In the first forward pass, we select an image, transform it to a different age class, and pass it to a discriminator to make the result look realistic. To enforce a connection between image space and age space, we also map the generated image to the latent age space using an age encoder, and then minimize the L1 distance between the age encoder output and the target age latent code. In the second forward pass, we try to regenerate the original image from the transformed image, using the ground truth age class as input. We enforce cycle consistency on both pixels and identity features using an L1 loss. In the third forward pass, we try to auto-encode the image by feeding it to the generator along with its ground truth age cluster and penalize the pixel difference with an L1 loss. Now, the age encoder is used to map the original image to the latent age space. By interpolating in the learned latent age space, we are able to perform continuous age transformations and achieve state-of-the-art results. We also compare our results with multiple baselines. Here, you can see how our method fares against FaceUp, a commercial application. Even though FaceUp only learns a single binary transformation, 
our method is still able to produce more realistic results. Existing aging algorithms focus on aging of adults, as they mostly change facial texture. In comparison, our approach can transform both facial shape and texture, which is required for age transformation from babies to elderly. We also compare against state-of-the-art multi-domain GAMs. Once again, we can see that these methods focus on texture with minimal shape change. Finally, we compare our approach with interface GAN, a method that finds transformations by traversing the style GAN latent space. For a fair comparison, we generated the original image from a random style GAN latent code. As you can see, interface GAN struggles to preserve important features such as the person's identity or the person's gender. In addition, when using a real image, interface GAN struggles to embed the correct identity into the latent space as well as generating full lifespan transformations. Our code, along with the trained models, is available online. We also provide a cool demo in Google Colab where you can generate your own transformations. We thank you for listening and hope you enjoyed our presentation. Please visit our project webpage. Thank you.